how are you? I'm fine. What are you doing on Saturday? I thought you'd have been back by now and didn't bother coming with my own keys. What's wrong? Why the long face? I hate it when people piss me off. Worse is when my peaceful disposition is mistaken for stupidity or cowardice. Who has upset you this time? Who else but my younger brother? What does he take me for? Honey, please calm down. Let's go inside. Please. Look, no, Udu, I'd rather share my money to beggars on the street than allow him to touch my hard earned money. No, not again. Honey, I said it is all right. Let's go inside. At least you should eat something and relax. Please calm down. Let's go inside, okay? Please. No, what, what does it take me for? Should I kill myself because I have one useless brother who can plan for the future? Let me open the door. The same old story. The idiot that calls himself my younger brother had the guts to demand that I give him another one million naira. When I asked him to tell me what he did with the last 1.4 million naira I gave to him, he started shouting at me, telling me that I had no right to ask him what he does with the money, insisting that I, Donatus, must give him the money. Imagine his guts. No, no, I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. I blame myself. I've always fulfilled all his monetary demands. But this time, I'll let him know that I work so hard for every coin that comes my way. He was actually. But I don't want you to take that to heart. Obviously, you won't throw him out. He's your brother. Let's pray he outgrew this nonsense and start thinking like a man. When will that be? No, do tell me, when will that be? If at 31 years Frank cannot reason like a man, plan and arrange his future, then he's doomed forever. No, sweetheart, don't use such words as doom. Remember, he's your blood. Besides, I see all those things as trial, which you'll surely overcome. Sweetheart, please calm down. Let me prepare you something to eat. I'll be upstairs. I need a cold bath. It's all right. Okay. That's all that. Uh... <laughs> it's all right. Go on. You say you want to explain. Just go ahead and explain. Okay. You okay? Hey, I'm all right. I wasn't talking to you. Go on and explain. Yeah? Uh, uh, hold on. Where are you going? Come and stay with me, sweetheart. I'll be with you. Okay. I wasn't talking to you. Go on. Look, it's a weekend. Let's fix it for Tuesday, okay? Just come with everything, okay? I'll be expecting you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. What was that? <clears throat> a client and a friend. Okay. <sighs> Sweetheart. Yeah. I think it's time I took you to my father for a formal introduction. So that we can proceed with every other marriage arrangement. What do you think? <laughs> that would be nice, honey. I can't wait to meet your people. I pray they will accept me. Hey, come on. You already accepted. Look, no man in his real senses would allow such a pretty, understanding, Loving and caring lady like you slip through his fingers. Look, you're my choice. My dear woman. You're flattering me, dear. Shh, shh, shh. I am not flattering you. I'm paying you a compliment. 
I strongly believe that you're my life partner. I love you, honey. I love you too, my sweetheart. <laughs> Johnny, I hope uh, everything is fine. Ah, uh, Papa, no problem. The journey was smooth. Good, beautiful. <laughs> sit down. Thank you, Papa. Sit down, let me find you some water to drink. Ah, okay, Papa. Mm. Okay. Thank you. This is good, Papa. Very good. Thank God. I hope the village is still peaceful. Everything is fine uh, except uh, a few deaths here and there. Hmm. People are dying like fowls. It's unfortunate. Mm. It's too bad. <laughs> Papa, mm -hmm. I know you're dying to ask me who the young lady with me is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Papa, her name is Uju. Uju. The daughter of Ugumba from Aboma village. I see. She's the girl I've always told you about. The one that suits my heart. Papa, I wish to marry her. Uh -huh. Eh? Would you? <laughs> my dad. Hey. Papa, may you live long. It's my, my pleasure. Dear, please rise. Rise. <laughs> rise. I'm so happy. Thank you, uh, Papa. You are welcome to my family. Hmm? You're welcome. Thank you very much, Papa. Uh, Donatus, um, I've always known that you would make the right choice. <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> Papa, thank you. Thank you, Papa. Again, yeah? Thank you. Lot of fear, welcome. <laughs> thank, you. Papa, thank you very much. You've done so well. Mm -hmm. huh? It shall be well with both of you. Amen. 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 Uh, this is good. So, when are we meeting her people? We should start off the marriage rice immediately. Um, uh, Papa, I'll inform you about that when next I return home. When next you return home? Yes, Papa. Uh, you know, we have to, like, um, sort out some few things yeah. between us. I want you to know that from now on, I'll be passing sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Papa, you're too much in a hurry. I'm the one involved. You're just supporting me. <laughs> I want the best for both of you. Thank you, Papa. Uh, thank yeah, you, we Papa. Know, we All know, right. Papa. Thank you. Honey, All right. was that your younger brother I saw outside? Um, yes, Frank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. What is good about the afternoon? Eh? For crying out loud, who are you? Who, who wants to see your face? Who needs you around? I'm not interested in whatever you want to say, I beg. Okay, my name is Obia Nudu, your elder brother's wife to be. Mm. I've heard so much about you, and I'm glad meeting you. 
So, what have you heard about me? Oh, he has told you everything, right? He has told you about one brother in the village that squanders his wealth or nothing, right? And you're here to come and fight for him. Look, let me tell you. Because now I know the reason why my brother has abandoned the whole family and responsibilities. You have talked him into that. And you will pay for it. Why are you talking to me like this? I only came so that we could talk. Talk about what? Listen, if you're here to negotiate with me, I'm not interested. That's why you're here. Okay? He's my brother. His wealth is mine. So get that into your head. And not even you can stop me. What, what are you still doing there now? Leave me alone. Will you just go away from me and let me have my peace? Get out! What's going on? I think. I hate your face! Hey, who, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Why are you harassing her? Huh? I'm talking to you. Why are you harassing her? Why? What is your problem, Frank? If you're not lazy, you're aggressive. What is your problem? People don't, don't see you. Point your point finger. Are you mad this, this afternoon? Am I just there? Don't you point your finger? Are you mad? Point, point, point my leg at you. Are you mad? What's going on here? Don't tell me, imagine the huh? fool. You check, Papa, Papa, you see, no. What do you mean? Imagine her. I told you to point your finger at me. Don't let me do something. I'll be right there. No, no, no. Look at you. No, no, no. Do it. 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 No, no, no. They gave us 50,000 naira too. <laughs> this is this is good. This is good. This is good. Uh, oh, this one has no name. Oh, it looks flimsy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honey. People can be very funny at times, honestly. <laughs> what is that? Look, I believe one of the kids that attended our wedding played the fast one on us. Imagine putting this 
stick of broom inside an envelope as a wedding present in order to collect the beautiful umbrella we gave us over now. <laughs> a stick of broom? <laughs> Believe me, an ordinary stick of broom. <laughs> this is... I have seen her, I have seen her. What is it, honey? Something could be attached to this. This? Oh, no, I don't think so. This happens in so many weddings, okay? People can be very funny, you know. It's, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing. Let's go. We really made a mistake, honey. We should have brought all those things inside the living room. And again, we should have prayed before opening them. Darling, why do you attach so much to little things? Why? It's, it's just an ordinary stick of broom. Come on, let's, let's, let's not dampen our enthusiasm. Just continue. Let's continue. It's worse now. Attached to this broom. Destroy it. Jesus. so sweet when spent with people like you. <clears throat> Darling, you're simply a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Believe me, if there was anything that made my heart skip ten bits, it was the issue of marriage whenever it was raised. But today, I am most delighted that I did not make a mistake. I was able to discover my own fish in that vast and mighty ocean. <laughs> You are everything I want in a man. I love you so much. I love you too, my darling. Come on, let's make a toast. Come on. <clears throat> to a warm, long-lasting, and fulfilling marriage. Cheers. Cheers. That reminds me, honey. I want to ask for a favor. Just mention it. Anything you want, ask and it is yours. I really want you to think of what you can do for your brother. Instead of allowing him languish in the village. Sweetheart, the idle man that says the devil's workshop. I suggest he gets himself busy with something before he's tempted to steal. Whatever. That boy has no ambition. If he likes, let him go and steal. And may God help him because if he's caught, he's going to end up in the police net. Honey, I have an idea. I am listening. I just wouldn't want you to spoil this evening with Frank's issue. Honey, I promise I won't. I'm only suggesting, since he's not good with money, why not introduce him to your line of business? No. No, no, no. Look, honey, I don't want him anywhere near my business. Besides, I have enough good hands. You know the clearing and forwarding business. We don't need so many people. Adding one person to your staff won't be too much for you. This boy is your brother and he must survive. You can even make him your personal manager and watch him closely. Honey, you're asking for too much. You're asking for too much. Anyway, who told you that this boy on whose behalf you're pleading is interested? I know him, honey. He's my younger brother. That boy is lazy. All he wants to do is sit down in one place and spend money. My money. Sweetheart. You promise you'll do anything for me. I have not refused you this either. But I, am, I will not be the one to suggest it to him. Just leave that to me. I'll talk to him myself. It's okay. 
What left to me, I wouldn't even want to hear his name mentioned. Something good can still come out from Jerusalem. More like Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Let me top it up for you. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, you can see I'm fine. <laughs> and uh, your husband? Papa, he's very, very fine. I hope there's no problem. Papa, there is no problem. All right. I saw Frank outside and I pleaded with him to come in so we can talk, but he refused. Are you sure that there's no problem? Papa, there is no problem. He's the reason I returned. I have a beautiful proposal for him. Beautiful proposal? Yes, Papa. For him? Yes. Really? Yes. Let's go and talk to him. Okay, Papa. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, please. Yes. Papa, I can see you. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm very kind. What do you want from me? I want you to stop talking to me. Oh, now you've gone to report me to Papa, right? Frank, I know I've no wronged you in any way. I've come to see you for good. Please hear me out. Please, I don't want you to disturb my peace before you start insinuating that I, I am insulting you now. Leave me alone for Christ's sake. Um, Frank. She has traveled all the way from Port Harcourt just to see you. Why not listen to her? Huh? And let her see what she wants to do. Talk to him. Well, your brother has decided to introduce you to his business. He said I should come with you to Port Harcourt. I want you to pick whatever you might need and come with me. If the idea is okay by you. It's okay. I'm happy now. And that's how a brother should behave. Now he's behaving well. I'll go with you at once. Uh, Papa, you heard how. She's the one inviting me to Port Harcourt. Oh. So it's not as if tomorrow they'll see me and I batch in on them or anything. I'm happy for you. Hmm? I'm very happy. When you get there, be more careful. Be obedient and respectful. Work hard and live in peace with your brother. I've always told you he has your interests at heart. Avoid bad company and you'll see the joy of success. Thank you, sir. Both of you should get ready to leave okay, before it gets dark. Hmm? Uh, let me get my clothes from the wire at the back yard. Okay. Papa. Mm -hmm. and kind-heartedness. Her good quality cooking was another strong factor that really influenced me. Oh, really? <laughs> like they said, the taste of the booty is in the eating. Eating. <laughs> 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 Frank, that reminds me. Have you finished preparing the documents? 
for that BMW Jeep that we tried on Monday? Oh, yes. I, I already handed them to your secretary. Mm. Yeah. Were you able to clear Chief Odilis' check and that of our repeals? Oh, yes. And I paid both of them into your account. Okay. I guess I have the four somewhere in my pocket. Oh, sorry. That's good. Very nice. Good. You want more food? Uh, no, I think I'm okay with this. Uh, well, maybe you should ask Frank. He might more want some more. No, 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 man. I'm slightly okay too. Can't you see I'm blowing up, guys? <laughs> What are you doing here all alone? Do you know what the time is? Oh my God. Tell me. What's troubling you, my dear? Look, look speak to your husband, okay? Please, talk to me, my dear. What is it? Honey, it's over here and six months now we got married. Can't, I can't see you. He's beginning to give me great concern. Most women that got married with me at this time, they already have their kids. What's wrong with me? Shh, shh. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you, okay? Nothing. Why do you allow this to disturb you, sweetheart? Why? Have I complained? Has anyone in my family complained? Why do you worry yourself so much over this issue? Look, babies will come in God's own time, okay? Please, please, darling, please. Wipe your tears and let's go back to sleep, okay? It's going to be alright. Okay? Let's just trust in God, huh? It's okay. It's okay. Okay? <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Have a nice day. Taking a nap, so tired, you know. <laughs> Madam, you look so gorgeous in your outfit. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Oh, you know, Madam. <laughs> ah, she's my wife. Now, Frank, close your eyes and follow us outside. I hope I'm safe. Very safe. It's just a little surprise. Easy. Easy. This one, I'm sneezing at your surprise. <laughs> Stand now. Tell me, yeah. boss, are you there? <laughs> Go on. Are you there? Go on. Uh, is it this way now? Mm -hmm. This way, just oh, stand. Oh, my God. Boss, am I safe? Yeah? Now open your eyes. Eyes. So? What? This is a gift from us to you for being very hardworking. Thank you very much, madam. I'm most grateful. I'm sure you're instrumental to this. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. Bros. Yeah. Oh, big bro, man. But it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Grateful. Enjoy. Wow. So, this is from me? Yeah. What? Bros. Bros. This is Camry Ellie Toyota. For me? <laughs> wow. A big man can't do this now. What? Oh my god. This calls for a celebration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, you guys go ahead and celebrate on my behalf. Let me try the cruise control. I mean, what's up, man? Okay. Enjoy. All We'll be in the office between 1 and 4 p.m. Well, I hope there is no problem. I don't think so. 
But I guess there is this particular test he wants us to run. Mm. Well, no problem. We shall see him tomorrow then. Okay. Can I serve you lunch now? Um, just wait a little while. I, I want to enjoy my wife's company. showing my appreciations to the both of you for accepting me and giving my life a meaning. I just want to say thank you, bro. Please, drink this from me. Honestly, Frank, I, 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 I couldn't have believed this. I never knew you could change. I wouldn't have believed you would become reasonable and responsible in life. But thanks to my wife. <sighs> Frank, you shouldn't have bothered buying this drink. But since it came from your heart, I will not reject it. Thanks, bro. I'm so glad to see smiles on your faces. This is how a family should be. I promise you, Frank, if you continue working hard like this, the sky will be your limit. Thank you, ma'am. Um, well, no need keeping this. Frank, since we both have our glasses, you go get yours and a corkscrew and um, let's do justice to it. says you both are medically all right. I just want to encourage you. Be patient. Madam, in God's time you shall conceive. Okay? Okay. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, doctor, you mean you cannot find any reason for the delay? None that I know yet. Just take it easy. Keep on trying. You might be lucky. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Oh, God. Why is my own case different? What's wrong with me? Madam, take it easy. You're medically all right. You're fine. Nothing is wrong with you. You're all right. You heard the doctor. He just confirmed that we are both all right medically. Let's be patient and wait for a while. In no time, babies will come. And remember, God's time is the best. Take it easy, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, yes. It's all right. No, the consignment will be coming in uh, today or tomorrow, tomorrow at the latest. Yes, yes. What I told you, seven 40-foot containers loaded with WCs. That was state of the art, trust me. Good. It's a deal then. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, it was you. You called me. Yeah, yes, I did. Were well, you at the wharf this morning? Yes, I was. In fact, all the consignments arrived except the container from China. And what could have caused the delay? Well, I called Mr. Sanchez earlier this morning and he said they are still loading. And perhaps in two weeks he'll be here, you know. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Hey, it's all right. But for the containers or the consignments that have arrived, See that to start making arrangements to clear them tomorrow. And let me know the amount you want, okay? Alright, sir. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Just take my lap.
Frank, have you finished? I'm already late. Oh, uh, yes. I'm going to go, sir. Oh. Frank, the keys. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, don't forget to program at the wharf this morning, okay? All right, I'll, I'll just take my bath and, and I'll be off. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, then. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Congratulations. Congratulations? I, I don't understand, ma'am. What, what about? Don't worry. It's good news. Ma'am, I can't wait to hear it. Come on, tell me. Okay. Your brother will tell you himself. officially the appointment of the new general manager of donor tax investment in the person of Mr. Frank Mogoto. <laughs> the appointment is with immediate effect with an additional increment of 40% to your salary. Bro, congratulations my brother. Bro. <laughs> um, Frank, I want you to see this new office, this new position, as a challenge for more excellent performance ahead. Uh, take these documents. Study them very well. If there is anything you do not understand, let me know and I will tell you. Thank you very much, bro. And I promise you that you will never have a reason to regret this. I pray so. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And Madam, <laughs> I'm most grateful. Thank you very much. <sighs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Go and study the documents. <laughs> Go with <laughs> No, I don't. Um, why don't you tell me? Because you're a man of your word. <clears throat> Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> ah, it's breakfast ready now. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs>
been knocking in the past 20 minutes. Why didn't you open the door? Hmm? This is your father's house. Hmm? Do you know what time is it, Frank? Check your watch. It's 1 a.m. if you don't know. Your constant late night is beginning to give your brother concern. And I wouldn't like it if he gets angry with you. Enough is enough. And for your information, when next return home at such ungodly hour, be prepared to sleep outside. <coughs> Imagine how drunk you are. Do you know with just two bottles that I had? You're saying I'm drunk. You see, my friends, they drink 20 bottles. No, I've not started drinking. Imagine what you're doing to yourself, Frank. Imagine what you're doing to yourself. converted Frank you used to be. The worst is you have taken to alcohol. The news of your gallivanting with girls in every corner and every joint in town is all over the place. You no longer have time for business, which was the main purpose of your coming here in the first place. But the one thing I will never take, the one thing I will never allow is your keeping laid back. Do you understand me? What time did you return home yesterday? I didn't check the time. Look, it might interest you to know that I was awake till 12 midnight. And only God knows when you returned and how you managed to sneak into the house. But that is the end of it. One more rubbish from you and you will regret it. I'm sorry. You'd better be. You'd better be sorry and begin to live a fulfilled life once again. 
Stay away from bad company, Frank, or you will be ruined. Your bad friends will lead you astray. Our line of business is a promising one. But once you lose focus, once you lose concentration, then you're doomed forever. Be warned, a word is enough for the wise. I wouldn't like to witness a scene like this again. Exactly what I was telling you last night. Your future is in your hands. All your brother is trying to do is to make you understand that this world is not a bed of roses. And nothing good comes easy. Frank, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. You have to be yourself. You have to be a man and work hard. I don't even know. Expecting you at this time. Uh, the papa road was smooth. The road was smooth, yes. very smooth. I was going out to buy some permanent for you. Yes, yeah? but not to worry. Uh, I can still do that later. It's alright, huh? papa. Let's uh, go inside. Uh, papa, one second. Uh, what time you can see? Uh, papa, I brought. Uh, we brought this for you. So if you never fail. Hey, this is fresh. This is fresh. This is good. Uh -huh. eh? Thank you, my children. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, let's go in. Okay. Hey, uh, Again, thank you, my son. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, Papa. Eh? My prayer is that your own children will do for you the way you do for me. Amen. In fact, your children will do more for you than you are doing for me. Amen. Amen. Hey, thank you, my children. Thank you, Papa. Eh? You're welcome. It's all right, Papa. Uh, it's all right. How about your kid brother? The last time you sent him home on a message, he showed me the car you bought for him. Hey. I had no words to express my gratitude. Thank you very much, my children, Thank you. for taking over his burden. In fact, he was looking so healthy. Eh? I don't need to ask whether you're living in peace. <laughs> eh? Papa, there is no problem. Hey, Papa, just like my wife said, there is no problem. Frank is doing very, very well. In fact, if he continues this way and things work out the way I'm planning, by the end of the year, I intend to send him abroad. Eh? Uh, but I don't want him to know yet, Papa. You mean it? <laughs> hey! My children, God will continue to fulfill all your aspirations and their progress. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> uh -huh, Papa. Frank told me that he said the Igwe would like to see me. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Igwe, you know, is my childhood friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. He takes a lot of interest in our family. And uh, he holds you on a very high esteem for your courage and hard work. Mm. 
So he wants to know whether you'll be interested in taking the chieftaincy title. <laughs> um, Papa, I will think about it. But I doubt if I'm ready for any traditional engagement right now. Well, you still need to go to his palace and pay him homage. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's a good man. And explain to him what you've just told me about uh, the defensive type of thing. Well, it's okay. It's all right. If you say so, Papa. Uh, but that will be in the morning on our way back to Port No problem. No problem. It's still all right. That's okay. It's still all right. Okay. I'll leave both of you now. I'll be in the kitchen. It's all right, right? Okay. And what about the community land that we discussed? As beautiful as a lady in front of me. Oh, come on. Honestly, you have an you have a charming appearance. I'm sure you're gonna flatter me. Why should I? Okay, but why did I bring you for the lunch? If you ain't charming. The boy, it's good. That's my name, oh, girl. Yeah. Follow whatever you want. When you go back to the hostel, tell your friends to the boy eats. Good. Good. Say, Mommy, baby. Wait up. Please, I need some takeaway. My problem is that he has no steady girl. And if care is not taken, he will still be infected with HIV virus. I, I don't know the problem with my younger brother. I called him before I left the house and told him to take a hundred and twenty thousand naira to Marosarika's place. I doubt if he's done that. One moment, please. Sarukis officer, where were you at the moment? Um, I'm driving along uh, our 6th Avenue, very close to the station. It's all right. I'm also driving. All right. I am right behind you. Quietly turn to your left and hand over my money to me.
For how long will I continue to suffer in the hands of my brother and his wife? Nothing that comes from Frank ever sounds nice. They must always bring reasons to castigate me. My God, I want to be free. There's nothing as sweet as freedom itself. to yourself. Shut up and keep your greatness to yourself. Now tell me, what did you do with 400,000 naira the last time you went to Lagos? Will you answer me if I lose my temper? What did you do with my money? Honey, please calm down so that we can say to this amicably. What, what do you want to say to me amicably? I was going through the bank statement of account when I discovered that he withdrew 400,000 naira the day he went to Lagos. Now tell me, did he fill in an accommodation for three days amount to 400,000 naira? What kind of a brother are you? Tell me, I have warned you on a traffic the last time but you refused to listen. How could you? How could you do this to me? Frank, what did you do with the money? Why are you asking me that sort of question? What else are you spending on women and alcohol? But let me tell you, very soon with your attitude, you will have nothing to spend. Now get out of my sight. Get out of my sight, my friend! Get out of my sight! Can you imagine? A sight with huge salary and all allowances? Every day, my brother comes up with a new chapter and a new page. What a trouble to my life! You had better, you had better talk to me. You had better go and fight. Do something that people will regret. All this nonsense is beginning to get on my nerves. Don't you understand? The one who even listens to you, one who even listens to you. Please come down. I will talk to him myself. Please. He lives quite early any day he's going to the wharf. But he didn't mention his movement to my hearing this morning. Well, whenever he returns, just give him this check. It's for 100,000 naira. He can use it for whatever he takes, but obviously not on drinks and women. I'll do that. <clears throat> the consignments for your new shop will be here next week. Yes. <laughs> Guess what? What? Two containers are fully loaded with assorted wedding gowns of different styles and sizes. <laughs> I am opening for my precious wife, the biggest bridal shop in town. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, honey. You're one in a million. Thank you. Anything for my precious wife. Before I forget, remember to call the painter to finish up his job this afternoon. What? Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, come on, let me go to work. <laughs> okay, okay. Take care. See ya, bye bye. Mariana, I'm 
No. Oh, thank you, wise one. Welcome, my son. Mm, I have not seen you in a long while. <laughs> How about what I gave to you? I hope it's still effective. Very, very effective, wise one. Yes. They keep running from one place to the other, not knowing that the solution is far. Never. Uh, but wise one, I came for something else. Of course. I know why you are here. But uh, it will be disastrous if he dies. Because his spirit will disturb you. Um, so, <clears throat> anyway, a rock behind the sea does not fear rainfall. He who does not Look ahead, remains blind. There are options, but the best is to make him mad. Make him mad? Yes. That's right. Take. Take this thing. Yes. Don't be afraid. Thank you, Wise One. Just draw a danger sign wherever he must see it. All he needs to do is to have an eye contact with it. Then we shall see what will happen to him. <laughs> a hawk and a chicken does not share the same market. <laughs> Thank you, wise one. Thank you. Your beer is 20,000 naira. Wise one, that is not a problem. Um, See, you've been so nice to me. There's no way I won't surprise you. I'll make it 50,000 naira. Oh, that's good. Drop it for them here. Okay. Yeah, it goes. How is it? Mmm, I won't move that. You can't have to go to the man. I'm going to go in after when I'm going to go to the man. Call the album, call your name. Let someone know your whereabouts. And why did you switch off your mobile phone? No, I, I didn't switch off my phone. Actually, it was just that the uh, battery went flat. Your brother was worried. He waited to see you. He even tried reaching you on your mobile phone before he left. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. Sorry. Just that I, I didn't want to disturb his sleep, you know. You should have dropped a note. That's true. 
Meanwhile, he gave me a check for you. It's on top of your bed. He said you should get whatever you need for yourself and obviously not spending it on ladies and alcohol. Thank you very much. I'm most grateful. There is food in the kitchen in case you're hungry. Oh, well, uh, I'll have that when I take my bath. Okay. So, uh, when is he coming back? I mean, my brother. He called some minutes ago. He said he's on his way coming. He's on his way. Right, man. Yes. Yes.